What's going on? Finally back on the surfboard project. I got all my supplies in. I got the epoxy resin here. 96 ounces. It's a two to one ratio. And then I also got like seven yards of four ounce and I think like four yards of six ounce cloth. So uh, right now I have to fill in some of these voids and then this is not level. So we're going to pour some, you know, to try and level it out. Uh, so here goes nothing. We'll start with four ounces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then two ounces, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully I don't waste a lot of this because this stuff was expensive. Looking for six total ounces then. All right. Gonna mix it up. And uh, we'll dump it. is smelting as we talk. You see it right here? Oh shit. Oh dude look. Is it eating? Oh god, I think it is. Oh boy. Fuck. <laughs> I think it's gonna turn into a pile of mush. How come it's just there though? It's fine over there. I wonder if it was just too thick. Does it look like it's calmed down a bit? No, it's eating straight through it. You can see it from the bottom? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty hard. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I think this might be garbage. The back is pretty fucked up. Yeah. Well, we'll chalk this up as a failure. Well, we'll call it here for now. I don't want to catch anything on fire, so I'm going to leave these out. I wonder if the humidity didn't help. All right, back on the project, we're going to be glassing in the fins. We had a small little hiccup here, but we were able to salvage it. Uh, so we got to mix the epoxy. And we did. We were smarter this time. We experimented on a piece of trash board. So we were able to get a pour without melting stuff. We just have to wait longer before we apply it. So we're going to get a batch of epoxy mixed up and then we're going to glue in this back fin. So we go. Oh yeah. Oh. A small gap right there. We'll fill it in with some more epoxy after this sets up. There's a few more gaps back there too. So I don't think it's gonna melt. I think it'll be fine. We'll find out in I don't know, 10-20 minutes. We've learned three. Was it three grams total? Was that one? No, 15 total grams. So, 10 of this, and 5 of the hardener. And give it a little stir. What we've learned through trial and error, uh, wait for the chemical reaction to happen. Wait for it to get hot so that it doesn't melt your surfboard like it already did. Uh, so we wait about... 10, 15 minutes, uh, and you'll feel it harden up, and you'll see it, and you'll feel like how thick the, the epoxy gets. So, I'll come back once it's hot. Alright. Two down, one to go. Alrighty. Third and final fin. This is that consistency that we're looking for. It's a little soupier, a little thicker. You can feel the warmth from it. 
chemical reactions probably already happened, so we're uh, safe to pour without jeopardizing. What's going on? We are doing the scariest part. We thought the last thing we did was the scariest part and the thing before that was the scariest part, but now it's the scariest part. We're gonna put down the fiberglass. We've covered the fin boxes with the stickers they give you. Uh, I've cut the four ounce cloth. So we're gonna obviously switch these two. We'll put this underneath this piece. Uh, gonna mix up our epoxy and get this laid down so here goes something. You want to put this under? Yeah, let's get that. And do we want to cut it? Yes. So, part cut this size first. Yeah. Did I do like a really terrible job of cutting? Well, it's kind of, it's kind of hard because it's not it wouldn't straight. All right, and then we'll roll this back over. Talk about an awkward thing to cut. Yeah. Alrighty. I think that's the smoothest we're gonna get this uh, before we pour it. So let's get the part. Let's we'll start right here, so we can yeah, we can get it stuck down. I keep laying it down, I guess. Uh, I want to kind of spread it down so it drips down yeah, like they so are. We just need some on the outside so you can Yeah, out. yeah, like, let me test that little area right there and see how it. Oh yeah, dude. Are you coming back? This is working, yes, this is working perfectly. This area still is buckling yeah. up. I don't know if you can keep putting pressure yeah, on it. Yeah, I think we just gotta keep it on. Until it gets dry. Okie dokie. All done with the first four ounce cloth layer. Doesn't really look like we did anything, but We used about 12 ounces, liquid ounces of epoxy for this uh, bottom portion. So we'll let it dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll come back, sand it down, flip the board over and we'll do the top side. Pretty excited about how it turned out. Nothing melted, so that's pretty solid. Oh, what is going on? Back on the surfboard project. I got the top and bottom glassed so now I will be uh, hot coating it, which is essentially just putting down a bunch of epoxy and sanding it down, um, trying to essentially fill up all of these little um, gaps where the fiber, uh, where the fiberglass is. So I'm gonna make up a, mix up a bunch of epoxy. Uh, for this, it's like eight ounces and dump it on. hot coat we'll uh i don't know two hours we'll leave it out here and then i like to bring it back inside because humidity i don't think is very good for this epoxy so she's shiny though back on the final hot coat for this we're going to be hitting the top deck with the final hot coat uh put about six ounces total so 
I'm going to get that draped on and then the next step will be um, just need to uh, paint it and then I'm going to put one more like thin coat of polyurethane or clear coat just to seal the paint job. So I'm going to get this uh, hot coat on. Alright, all done with that glass coat here. side cured nicely we'll leave it out here for like right two or three hours and then I'll move it inside because it does cure nicer with no humidity so I don't see any drips running down the rail I'll see y'all once it gets hard and cured up we are almost done I am on the last step uh, so I have sanded down the hot coat uh, not a very interesting process so I didn't film it so I've sanded it down and now I'm going to paint it. I'll be painting it blue, chrome, and black. I'm gonna put the base coat of black down first uh, and then come back with painter's tape and uh, come up with a, with a pattern. So I get the paint. All right, we'll let that dry uh, for a few hours. Once it dries, we'll come back and get it taped up. All right, so I've got a little pattern uh, laid out here with some masking tape. I'm going to uh, spray it with some blue, so. All right, I'll let that sit for like three or four minutes and I'm gonna peel back the tape Usually best to peel back the tape when it's wet, that way it doesn't rip. All right, so I got the last, last bit of uh, tape up done here. I'm gonna spray down chrome on these four lines. Uh, after that, I will be done with the spray paint and then I'll put one more layer of epoxy and then I should be done, so here we go. All right, all done with the paint job. I will come back in like three or four minutes, pull the tape off, and we'll see what we got. Okay, so I'm all done. I've put my clear coat on my paint job, uh, and I've inserted the fins, and it is complete. Uh, this was an interesting process. Now it is not perfectly smooth by any means. It is extremely bumpy. Um, you can see some of the like divots and di right here there's a little divot too. So uh, next time I've learned three major things. One, the, the first glue up is really important. Make sure that you use an abundant amount of glue to make sure it's stuck together. Uh, two is make three stringers. And whenever you're um, kind of getting the shape of the board, one, one on the outside, one in the middle, and then one on the uh, other outside. That way when you uh, come to hot wire it, it's even across the board. And then third would be just use a big hot wire instead of hand tending the entire thing because uh, that's what caused it to be, I guess, so bumpy. Uh, I'm going to go to the lake like next weekend, I think, and test it out. I'm afraid, there's a few things I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that this front is pretty thin and it may just snap immediately um, and then maybe some heel dings on the top but uh, all done for now it was a fun 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 process and I will see y'all at the lake we'll hope it works